Opposition leader Raila Odinga was back to his hometown of Bondo to attend the funeral service of three young men killed during the anti-IABC protests. Accompanied by several leaders from the NASA ranks, they accused the police of using excess force in dealing with unarmed protesters. These people's only crime was that they were exercising their democratic right to demonstrate against an election which is being imposed on the people of Kenya against their wishes. We don't want to see people who are coming here with the sole objective of killing our people. They might think they are protected. The wheels of justice roll slowly, but they surely roll. The lives of these three will not go unpunished. What Wajuruni will not go unpunished. The opposition team insisting that this was their own way of celebrating those killed by police in the three weeks of demonstrations to push for change at the poll agency RABC. But according to Inspector General of Police, Joseph Boynet, four lives have since been lost in their tally. The IG is saying that the deaths were recorded between October 2nd and 16th across the country. The figure, though lower than that registered by human rights watchdogs that indicate that over 50 people, mostly in NASA strongholds, have been killed by police since the announcement of the results of the now annulled August 8th presidential poll. The report by the IG further shows that his offices have not been spared either as 10 of them sustained serious injuries during the protests as well as property worth millions of shillings destroyed and looted. NASA is set to hold a major anti-IABC protest Thursday next week, the same day the repeat presidential poll is expected to take place. Patrick Igunza, Citizen Weekend.